Hi, this is Ken, KA6SUB, the Fusion Elmer guy. And I'd like to welcome you to um, board the journey to find out what's the uh, difference between wires XHRI 200 and the PDN. And while we're here, uh, just to give you an idea, I started doing this uh, explain series just to <clears throat> try to make things clear. I picked a topic and, and we try to go through it a little bit and, and make it uh, where uh, you can understand it better, sort of take the mystery out of the magic of Yesu system fusion. Now anytime going through uh, this uh, video, please feel free to stop. My recommendation is to view the video all the way through the first time and and then go back through a second time and stop it and take notes or whatever you need to do there. But uh, one of the things that we've uh, I've discovered uh, through doing this uh, for all the years here is terminology is very important and, and so we aren't all using the same meanings for the same terms or sometimes not even <laughs> proper terms, uh, terms from other other areas. So feel free to to uh, you know, go over these, and uh, also the other thing I'd like to you know mention too is anytime you know when the video is over, please leave a comment. Whether you liked it, whether you didn't like it, what if something new, something different you want me to go over, a question you have in your mind. Um, you know, I, I I love tough tough questions. I enjoy them. And uh, just a little note down at the bottom down there. Uh, just remember the fact that. Uh, Nodes can't call, I mean, nodes can call nodes, and nodes can call rooms, but rooms can't call anything, okay? That's sort of short of what we have there. And, you know, what is Wires X? Well, I sort of stole this out of the, uh, the Wires X uh, PDN manual, and uh, so I think it says it better than I could go through and say it, and uh, I don't see where it's too confusing there, so I, I think they've got it pretty straight there and easy to understand for most people. And the same thing goes with, uh, you know, what is the PDN functions and how does that work? Uh, so we sort of stole that out of there too. So again, like I said, you know, stop anytime you feel the need to and and uh, digest whatever is there. What is the uh, HRI 200 device? And the, there's a picture of it. Um, the, uh, you know, again, you know, this has everything on it, all the features you'd be using for a uh, repeater. It's really designed for repeaters, it, not that it can't be used on a personal basis, but it does require six to seven, uh, you know, um, ports to be, uh, you know, to be port forwarded. And uh, you do have to have internet access wherever you're using it. So sometimes using it at the site is not appropriate because there is no internet. Um, so we have ways of work around that. One of the things that's common, sort of basic to, to all of the Wires X nodes, no matter what they are, you know, we have to have a Windows computer, and that Windows per computer is going to be running the Wires X software. That computer does have to be connected to the internet. And then connected to the computer is your either, either your HRI 200 or your PDN uh, node uh, radio. Um, again, we'll talk about the forwarding of the ports on the HRI 200. And uh, I think I come up with a good good thing what the PDN stands for. Is, you know, they call it, call it a portable digital node. I think it stands for pretty darn nice node. Okay, when you're using the HRI 200, this is how it'd be configured, as we stated in the first, uh, the sli the last slide. And then we would want to connect it to the, to the uh, repeater. Uh, we can do a direct connect to the repeater, and that direct connect means that we just get the cable and plug it right into the back of the, uh, uh, the repeater. Two things have to be met. At the repeater site, you have to have the internet uh, connection and be able to have a computer going 24-7. Um, the other thing is, uh, you, if you're using the, a, the, uh, the LAN card in the uh, DR2, 
um, for the IMRS, you cannot have the two plugged in at the same time. Uh, so uh, it's one or the other. So if you're not using, if you're not using that uh, IMRS, then this will work. If you are using the IMRS, then we got to go a different route. And now we have to uh, plug a radio into you know the back of that uh, HRI 200, and it does need to be a C4 FM radio. That radio then would RF the signal up to the repeater site. Repeater would pick it up and put that information out over the air. You can take your HT or uh, mobile radio and you can control the HRI 200 uh, through this RF link. It works beautifully. Uh, in fact, this is a suggested way. Uh, even, even if you have internet service at the repeater site, if your repeater site is more than 10 minutes away, uh, don't do it because Windows is... I don't have to tell you a whole lot about Windows. It's got problems. And I'm forever having to, to kick one of the uh, window computers around here uh, in the backside and get it breathing again. So it's really irritating. Now, what about the PDN connection? So we, in place of the HRI 200, we take a PDN capable radio. And not all radios are PDN capable. So you um, you got to choose a PDN, you know, capable radio, plug that in there. Um, you run the WiresX software again on the computer, and uh, then you'll be uh, putting your radio in the PDN mode. And um, then this is a PDN direct, so you use that microphone that's there uh, to control uh, the, uh, the node. And you can change rooms, you can... Uh, you know, do everything you need to do uh, right there. Uh, you do have to take it out of PDN mode if you're going to be going into, if you want to use it as a radio. So you have to either take it in or out, so it's not going to be always in unless you intend to leave it in uh, all the time running. Now that's in direct mode. Now what about access mode? Access mode allows you to use a and a handheld radio walk around your property and um, you know be somewhere else in the house or whatever and take calls or make calls through the wires X so this is a uh, you know another awesome way to, to use this uh, function and again just to keep a mind short here too this setup for PDN was not designed to um, cover your whole town unless you live in a small town but point being is it, this is should be low wattage and you know a couple miles away maybe at the most that you'd be able to use it it won't you don't don't count on anything too uh, too far now this is using that in in the access mode now what happens if you have you want to host a uh, repeater you want the wires X to be on a repeater you can do that with this you can RF that signal right up to the repeater. And again, like in the wires X, you can use the uh, mobile radio or an HT radio uh, through the repeater to control the PDN um, uh, node. Um, and so, you know, that's a, a very, very doable uh, thing there. And uh, if you've made it this far, um, I recommend that you, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Please also hit that like button and ring the uh, notification bell so that you'll be notified of future videos that uh, pop up here. And uh, also I mentioned a reference chart that's in the next slide here. And this has got some information on it. I'll run over it real fast for you. But it wouldn't hurt to take a picture of that slide and keep it in your, your memoirs. So just to make it clear, when you're in PDN mode, you have the direct or the you know, operation or the access point. When you're in those, uh, in fact, any of the PDN modes, you have no room capability. So you, you cannot create a room. Um, but when you're in PDN mode itself, you can only talk to other digital nodes or rooms. You can't talk to a room that is a multi room and multi mode room. So if there's a room that's set up for both FM and uh, 
uh, digital, you can't talk to them. Now, if you go over to portable, um, you know, the PDN HRI mode, then you can, um, if you're using the, buy that kit, buy the wire, the, you know, the kit that goes with it for the PDN, <clears throat> use all the cables that come with that kit. So you got to use the FM audio cables. You plug them in where they're supposed to be plugged in. Now you can talk to all the nodes. But if you don't use all the cables, if you opt not to use the FM cables and you try to talk to a node that's an FM, got FM on it, those people that are on the FM side will not hear you. All they're going to do is get a dead carrier. When they talk, guess what you're going to get? A dead carrier. You're not going to hear them. So um, the reason for doing this is so you can hear everybody and that would be the thing to do. Um, now, using the HRI 200 box itself, that node, you see you don't have any problems. You've got everything. The only issue that we have on that is you see the red mark there. That is for the IMRS. If you're connected direct to the repeater, you don't have the IMRS as we spoke before. But if you RF in using the gateway, now you have full operation of everything on your repeater. I hope that's been helpful to you. Um, again, um, thank you very much. And um, I, I love your support. And um, together we'll, we'll take the mystery out of uh, ASU System Fusion.